In this problem, we will use side-by-side -side bar graphs to compare the distributions from two different populations. We have, according to the Population Division of the U.S. Census Bureau, Maryland had a total population of 5,296,486 people, and Florida had a total population of 15,000,000. 982,378 people as of April 1st, 2000. The total population for various age groups for each state is given in the table below, and our job is to compare the age distributions of Maryland and Florida. We will use side-by-side -side bar graphs to do this. Remember, in a bar graph, the x-axis contains our different categories. In our problem, the categories will be the five different age groups. The vertical axis, you either put counts or percents on the vertical axis. axis. Because the populations in the two states are different, it makes more sense to report the percentage as opposed to the counts so that you can look at the data distributions and actually compare them. So we need to convert our numbers into percentages. Dividing each of the Maryland populations by the total Maryland population, we get the following percents. We have that 28.2 percent of all Marylanders in 2000 were under the age of 20. Dividing all of the Florida populations in each of the age groups by the total Florida population, we see that 25.3 percent of all Florida residents were under the age of 20 in 2000. Now that we have our data, we're ready to construct our bar graph. We have our five age categories on the x-axis, under 20, 20 to 39, 40 to 59, 60 to 79, and over 80, with our axis labeled with age in years. We have our y-axis labeled in percents, now we are going to graph, for the under 20 age group, we are going to graph Maryland, and right beside it we will gra graph the Florida percentage, so that we will see the percentages side by side. So from the bar graph, we see that 28.2% of all Maryland residents are under 20, 28.8% of all Maryland residents are between 20 and 39, 27.8 between 40 and 59, 12.3 between 60 and 79, and 2.8 percent of Maryland residents are over 80. Looking at the red graph, we see that 25.3 percent of Florida residents are under 20, 26.7 percent are between 20 and 39, 25.7 are between 40 and 59, 17.6% are between 60 and 79, and 46 are over 80. One thing we need to add to a bar graph when we are doing a side-by-side -side bar graph is a key so that the reader knows which graph, which bar goes with which population. So let's do that now. Our key says that the blue bars are for the state of Maryland and the red bars are for the state of Florida. Now that the side-by-side -side bar graph is complete, completed, we want to compare the two age distributions. Just like the Maryland data, where we saw that in the three youngest age groups, about the same proportion of Maryland residents were in the three youngest age groups, we see that about the same proportion in Florida are in the three youngest age groups, but compared to Maryland, those percentages are less in Florida than they are in Maryland. What do we see about the two oldest age groups? We see that Florida has a much higher percentage of older residents than does Maryland. 17.6% of all Florida residents are between 60 and 79 as opposed to 12.3% in Maryland. 4.6% of all Florida residents are over 80, whereas only 2.8% of Maryland residents are over 80. So that we see that on average, 
Florida typically has an older residence population than does Maryland. So by looking at side-by-side -side bar graphs, we can compare two data distributions for two different populations. What are other ways to compare two or more data distributions? We did an example just now where we use side-by-side -side bar graphs. You could use back-to-back -back dot plots. Here would be an example of back-to-back -back dot plots. The top is just a regular dot plot. The bottom is the data for population 2. We could also use back-to-back -back stem and leaf plots. An example of back-to-back -back stem and leaf plots is given here where population 1 data goes to the right of the stems and population 2 data goes to the left of the stems. You need two keys when you have back-to-back -back stem and leaf plots. Population 1, 34 vertical bar 0 represents 34.0 and 6 bar 35 represents 35.6 in population 1. Another way you can compare two or more data distributions is by doing modified box plots using the same data axis. axis. Here we have two modified box plots using the same data axis. Looking at the two modified box plots, you can compare the shape, the center, the spread of the distribution, and whether they're outliers. Just like you can compare the characteristics in a stem and leaf plot, you can compare the shape of the two distributions, the center of the two distributions, the spread of the two distributions, and whether they're outliers, just like you can do with back-to-back -back dot plots. Compare the shape, the center, the spread, and outliers in back-to-back -back dot plots plots. Remember, when you are asked to compare two or more data distributions, you must not only, you don't want to talk about the two populations separately and describe the center, shape, spread, and outliers for one population and then do it for the second one. You want to compare the shape of the two da data distributions. You want to compare the two centers. You want to compare the two spreads and you want to compare whether one population has outliers and the other does not. You want to compare. They're not two isolated populations. You got to talk about them jointly. So there are many different ways and to compare two or more data distributions.